Hi, in this episode of Cajun 101, we're giving our review of the Fry Daddy Deep Fryer. Spending my teen years as a fry cook in New Orleans, I've seen and done deep frying a lot of different ways. The main job of the frying equipment is to keep the oil at a constant temperature while the cook chooses the right fats and the right ingredients and the right timing to make a great meal. My wife was skeptical back in January when I invested $50 in a fry daddy thinking I could take back up the mantle of a fry cook. God's power is made perfect in our weakness. And in no time, I was regularly preparing meals that my family and guests have found pleasing. There is a Redeemer, Jesus, God's own Son, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, Holy One. I delight in the look on my wife's face every time. So far, I've used the Fry Daddy around 30 times and published 30 or so videos on my adventures. The Fry Daddy does its job holding the oil between 350 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit, measuring around 390 degrees when fully heated and dropping down closer to 350 degrees as food is added. The main key is to fry in small batches. About two cups of food is as much as you want to fry at once for best results. The Fry Daddy uses one quart of oil and does well with any appropriate choice of frying fats. We've been pleased frying all kinds of seafood, veggies, fruits, pastries, pastries, and even coming up with a bunch of new great recipes. We usually use a blend of animal fats, either beef, tallow, or duck fat, and plant fats, either peanut or cottonseed oil. The plant-based oils lower expenses and are optimal for adding flavor through hot pepper oil or garlic infused oil. We've never thrown the oil out, but it is regularly filtered and stored for longer periods in the freezer. For shorter periods, less than a week, we often skip the cheesecloth filtering and just put the whole Fry Daddy back in the back of the fridge with its lid. If you use cheaper oil, lots of folks just keep it on the counter with the lid for as long as the oil lasts before throwing it out. But we view the oil as a key ingredient to great food and we hate to see it wasted. The bottom line is that the Fry Daddy does its job. It's very easy to use and it works every time. If this one broke tomorrow, odds are I'd go out and buy one just like it. If you have a big family, you can easily accommodate the small batches by giving thanks to Jesus beforehand and letting folks cruise by buffet style after each batch comes out. All fried, is be all fried food is better when it just comes out, though some dishes may do okay waiting, to, waiting until it's all ready at once for a traditional sit-down dinner. We view frying occasions as special, so a break with traditional sit-downs is warranted. If I wanted to increase my frying capacity, I'd run two fry daddies at once with different fat blends. Odds are I'd increase the garlic and the hot pepper oil for me and the people in the family who like it spicier, and I would decrease them for the people who like things a little milder. But fried foods in high doses can be unhealthy, and the Fry Daddy makes it so easy that there may be some temptation to overindulge in the fried foods. Being empty nesters, it's critical that we keep a close eye on portion sizes and to only put fried dinners on the menu once every week or once every two weeks. Praise the Lord Jesus who provides all good. I put my faith in Jesus, my anchor to the ground, my hope in 